I'm Gil Smart with Vote Water, and sometimes you just got to speak the language. Last week, the Florida Senate Appropriations Committee passed Senate Bill 2508, a terrible grab bag of proposals which, if they become law, are guaranteed to contribute to more discharges, more algae, more water quality problems in the St. Lucie River and the Caloosahatchee and elsewhere around Florida. The heart of this evil bill is an attempt by the legislature on behalf of Big Sugar, surprise, surprise, to eviscerate the three-year loathsome process, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers attempt to write a new and better playbook for managing Lake Okeechobee. But see, Big Sugar doesn't want a new playbook. They want to retain the privileges they already have. They like the existing playbook just fine. So they got their lackeys in the Senate to, pa to propose and pass this bill, sticking it to the rest of us. Ah, but now they're feeling the heat as Vote Water and a whole bunch of other environmental organizations are mobilizing against this nonsense. People are peppering these public servants with complaints, and the public servants have been forced to respond. And you'll be shocked, shocked, to know that their responses are straight up dishonest in many cases. First, you've got what we'll call the misdirection play. I've got a tweet here from Senator Debbie Mayfield, who represents portions of Indian River and Brevard County, right along the, the threatened Indian River Lagoon, and she ought to know better than to vote for this. But she did. She's a member of the committee. Ultimately, Senate President Wilton Simpson is behind this legislation, and May Mayfield wants you to know that she backs the president because he is confronting water quality issues in compliance with current state law. Right. But remember I said Big Sugar loves current state law. Current law conveys all sorts of benefits to Big Sugar, helps them ensure they get all the water they want for irrigation, and if that means too much water in the lake, if that means discharges, if that means algae, well, you know, whatever. Big Sugar gets what Big Sugar wants, and the rest of you, it's just too bad. So sad. So Mayfield's tweet, echoed by plenty of other legislators, is a misdirection play. All we're doing is backing current state law, which is inequitable. Next up is a response to an email from a constituent by Senator Kathleen Pasadomo, another member of the committee, uh, Appropriations Committee, who voted for this, and who insists that she wants to hear your opinion, except your opinion is wrong. She would never support any legislation that in any way, shape, or form harms our environment or impairs our citizens' access to clean water, except she just voted for a bill that does exactly that. And then we get to this, which we'll call lying by omission. She says, quote, it's the bill is about how lake water should be allocated in times of drought. No, it's actually how lake water should be allocated before we get to a drought, because even as all this is happening, Big Sugar is pressuring the Army Corps of Engineers to amend the Lake O playbook and keep more water in the lake than it otherwise might. Right now, when the lake level stops dropping and it hits what's called the water shortage management ban, that's when we get into a drought, and that's when you can have cutbacks. But Big Sugar wants the Army Corps to institute a one-and-a-half-foot buffer zone and begin cutting off water to the Everglades and west of the Caloosahatchee, which needs some water, when we hit that buffer zone. In other words, if the water shortage management ban at any given time is at 12 feet, Big Sugar wants us to start conserving water when we get to 13 and a half feet, just in case, because we could, we could have a drought. But once again, this amounts to keeping more water in the lake, which means when rainy season comes, the lake fills up faster, and then you got the possibility of discharges. You got the possibility of harm to the lake itself. You got the possibility of yet another algae crisis. Pasadomo, of course, includes none of this context, then has the gall to say that those who know the context are, quote, misinformed misinformed. Yes, it's better if you're stupid and you don't know the context because then you're all the more pliable and it's easier for Big Sugar to get what it wants. So when you hear a legislator defending this garbage bill by saying opponents are misinformed, they're wrong. When you hear that all they're doing is defending current state law, they're obfuscating. And when they say they would never do anything to harm Florida's waters, go ahead and laugh. Because if what Big Sugar wants will destroy Florida's waters, our legislators will happily destroy Florida's waters on Big Sugar's behalf. Big Sugar says jump, they say how high, and then they tell you, hey, our feet never left the ground. You must be seeing things. Yeah, we are seeing things. And no honest Floridian likes what they see. I'm Gil Smart with Vote Water.